All right, good morning. It's day three here. I'm going to Tomeyoso. Turns out I'm just kind of doing a big circle. I came down from Argamasilla to the Ruidera Lakes, and now I'm taking a left and then going back up to Tomeyoso, which is very close to Argamasilla in the end. And the following day I'm going to El Toboso. That's got a very important uh, Quixote tie-in, which I will tell you about later. Okay, small problem. I have locked myself in here. Um, there's a big gate back here that I closed last night. I closed it using the key. I locked it. Um, <laughs> in Spanish, you don't have a specific word for locking. You have closing, and then you have closing with the key. So uh, that's why I just said that. Um, so I locked it with the key, and then I left the key in the house as instructed, and closed that door, and now I can't actually get in the house to get the key back, and I can't get out. So, you know, I'm waiting for the housekeeper to come and open up the gate for me, and then I can start pedaling off to Tomeyoso. Here's my gate. The Spanish expression, cerrar con llave. Cerrar is just to close. Cerrar con llave is to lock. Llave is key. So that's the, the whole lesson on locking vocabulary in Spanish. Okay, the housekeeper just uh, finished her coffee and drove down from wherever she lives. Um, and I was only locked in for 15 minutes or so. So, we're all good. Time to pedal. On my way. This is really beautiful and really cold. But I assume within a couple of hours it'll be uh, beautiful and really hot. Okay, it's time to go off-road again. Uh, officially, I'm supposed to wear the helmet on numbered highways, according to Raul. I don't know exactly what the rules are, but Raul says, numbered highways wear the helmet in towns or on streets like this. I don't really have to. This street has a name. It's the Camino de San Pedro or some such. Anyway, I have been wearing it because it's easier than, you know, putting it on and taking it off all the time. I don't know what Spanish law has to say about me filming with one hand while uh, riding the bike with the other. They might not be fully supportive of that, but since I don't know, I'm just doing it. And it's not like I'm seeing anyone out here anyway who would stop me. So, uh, onward. Did I mention that I have 55 kilometers to do today? That is pretty significant. Um, I mean, I gotta do it anyway, so I'm gonna do it. It's uh, looking like it could be a few hours before I am in Tomeyoso. I figure about 15 kilometers an hour. And you know, I stop and take breaks and film myself talking to the camera and all of that. So, I've got a town in the middle called Osa de Montiel, or something similar. I apologize to anybody from Osa de Montiel if I'm butchering the name. And after that, Tomeyoso. Okay, we're back on the pavement and we have goats. You may be able to see some goats behind me. I hadn't seen any animals really out here. You go by some dairy farms sometimes and the cows are all in the barn and you can smell them, that dairy farm smell, but we got several dozen goats back here. We've also got a bit more traffic. It looks like about five kilometers to Osa de Montiel and then, I don't know, maybe 30 
to Tomeyosa. So I've got a long day ahead of me. I've just put on some sunscreen. Don't worry. Okay, here we are in Osa de Montiel. Typical little town. There's a bar. There's a few bars, a few cafes. Butcher, baker, fish store. You know, old guys standing around on the plaza. Plaza de la Constitución. You know, lo de siempre. Man, this is great. I'm on this little local highway. There's nobody around for miles. I can see miles of road here. And there's nobody. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so yesterday I crossed into the province of Albacete. Now I'm leaving Albacete, I'm going back into the province of Ciudad Real. These are provinces of Castilla-La Mancha. Spain has 50 provinces. Um, and I think it's 17 autonomous communities that Castilla-La Mancha is the autonomous community containing a few different provinces. Toledo is another province of Castilla-La Mancha. So I've been through three at this point. I don't know how many there are in total. Anyway, Albacete has a famous expression. Albacete, caga y vete. This is Albacete, shit and leave. Suggesting that you should not spend more time than is absolutely necessary in Albacete. I didn't get anywhere near the city of Albacete, so I don't know. I couldn't tell you anything about it. All these places down here are places that people don't visit very much. I haven't heard of most of them actually. Toledo obviously is a short trip from Madrid and a lot of people go to Toledo but the rest of it is not super common as a tourist destination. Also according to the app this is the top of the hill for the day so the rest of this is gonna be all downhill. I'm hoping to be in Tomeyoso well, it's 25 kilometers downhill. Hoping to be in Tomeyoso for lunch in, I don't know, an hour and something. Tomeyoso, compared to where I've been the last few days, this is super cosmopolitan. There's like this shopping street that'll probably be active later. People walking around. Okay, I did the full wine tour of, of Tomeyoso. They make a lot of grapes here. It's uh, significant all over, apparently, the world for the number of grapes that they make here that they grow, presumably, is what I should be saying. They also make a lot of table wine for export. Um, La Mancha wines are not super well known, but they uh, are abundant and cheap, I guess. So I got to see a couple of bodegas, not bodegas, the cuevas again. That word cueva keeps coming back. Um, these are just sort of underground basements full of fermentation tanks. Anyway, interesting. And uh, it's kind of chilling in town now. I'm gonna call it a day here. Sorry about the noise on the last bit. That was the vibrant Tomeoso town square life. Now here we've got the vibrant Tomeoso traffic. This is quite a bit different than, you know, where I've been the last few days. Tomorrow, I've got another 53 kilometers on the bike and I'm ending in El Toboso. El Toboso, which is where Don Quixote's girlfriend lives, or at least his fantasy girlfriend. So we got a lot to talk about, and I will see you tomorrow.